All right, so today we're gonna to be installing R38 in the garage ceiling. Uh, finally got all the stuff cleared out of there. Uh, there was a ton of paneling and extra boards and trim pieces from the previous owners. Um, so now it's all cleared out and ready to rock. Um, we're gonna to have to first put in this pro vent uh, insulation baffle, which um, just makes sure there's a clear path from the eave past insulation uh, so proper airflow can get through. And uh, that's gonna be working on next year. And for this job, we got a disposable suit. Uh, when we get into the itchy stuff, got one for the big boy. Got some uh, N95 respirators. Everyone knows what those are nowadays. Not related, just uh, low on fuel on my torch. Got some staples, three eighths of what is what they're asking for for insulation. And on all the videos online, they're using this uh, hammer stapler. So scoop one of them up. And uh, I really hope there's not more than 2,500 staples that we need to do, but that's what we got. So I'm just gonna start with the two hardest ones first. Um, not gonna really videotape all that, I don't think. Uh, probably just be boring and take too long, but once we get cruising, I'll do a time lapse on the rest of these. So I got three of those up so far. This one's kind of crumpled in there. Probably could have trimmed it a little bit, but got in there decently. So and it's not touching the heat stack. And I did test the temperature on the B pipe right there. Uh, and after it's been running for about three hours, only 70 degrees, so no issues there. We're gonna run these along the rest here. And this pro vent goes in one, two, three, just a couple staples on either side, and you're all set. This step and product is not required, uh, but if you're not experienced at installing insulation, uh, this just ensures that you have proper flow. Yeah, and that only took about 15 minutes. It's always a good idea to suit up. You really don't want any of these particles getting on your, or on your clothes, bringing them into your house. Uh, so suit up, get a respirator, keep that stuff out of your lungs. You also want a board to cut against, something to hold it down so you can get cleaner cuts. So. We're going to see what we can do here. And you're paying extra for this paper-faced insulation, so it's always a good idea to cut down the side, not over the top. Um, you'll end up ruining that one piece. It says right here. It's supposed to be 12 inch, so we're going to taper the edges. So it fits up against the rafters up there. So I'm guessing it's about half, so maybe we'll go two-thirds, start trimming off a little bit of each time. So I think that's going to be pretty good. We'll keep doing that. All right, and here goes the Oompa Loompa in full fast forward mode. All right, so we got our first bag up, eight pieces of two by four, or yeah, two by four feet. So. 64 square feet. Just got four more along the eave here. We gotta go around the heater and the B pipe. So that might be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but after that, we should be cruising. And if you're an insulation installer, um, 
if you could leave a comment below on how to cut this more accurate, I wasn't getting very good results. When you have no obstructions in the way, these bats go up super quick, maybe a minute or two per. Alrighty, we got two rows up, all the way across, so three bags total. So it's coming along good. So we're about one third of the way done. And uh, I'm pooped up. How to second this suit. This might be a three day project, we'll see. Garage, all packed in there. And tomorrow is another day. But so far, we're looking good. Can't wait to get it done. So um, you do have to have reliefs for anything in between there or else it'll be pushing up on it and you don't get as good an R value. This uh, obviously was my first cutting experience so uh, with this piece. So this will be coming down. I just want to get the whole thing completed first but we'll be touching up that corner. But everything else is coming out fairly nice. Um, looks like I got like four or five inches above the heater which I'm happy with and uh starting to come along here so let's get two more rows in today and i am not even going to heat the place today um once you put these tyvek suits on and if you're a big boy to begin with um you get plenty of hot i was soaking wet by the time i was done with just two and a half hours of this stuff last time so anyways uh we're gonna get to it here um just a little tips and whatnot all these wires that are hanging up you do have to make slits in it because we do have 12 inches of insulation. This uh, R38 is some thick stuff here. And a clear workspace is essential for efficiency. So try and clear out anything you can before you start these projects. Plus you won't get insulation all over your items in your garage. So this project did end up taking three days to complete. Probably could have got it done in two days, but clearing the garage to work every day took quite a bit of time. So the couple tips and tricks I learned along the way is stair-stepping the edges for the eaves. Um, to make cuts, uh, use a board to press down so you only make a couple passes. Every other bag of bats, switch out your razor blades. And as a backup, if you do end up mangling a piece, just use cardboard to strap it down. And that's a wrap. Project is complete. Can't wait to turn the heat on to see how fast the place heats up. And if you like the video, please leave it a like and subscribe to Two Acres. Appreciate you watching.